Suddenly you encounter a strange cloud, which breaks the laws of physics like this cloud. What is the best thing you should do? You should pray. You relax. Let your mind clear. You look towards the cloud praying to the Creator. You ask forgiveness for the sins that you have done against the will of the Creator. You ask your Creator to give you strength and light so that you can live with the truth. For you resist the temptation and control of evil. So that you can get rid of the bad character within you. You must also understand that the world now has a lot of evil and cruel things that are exposed. You ask the Creator to protect and free your family from the temptation and control of evil. You should also pray for everyone. Pray with all your mind and heart day after day, until you see happiness overflowing and a bright sun like aura radiating from your forehead. You share to many people so that your prayer will be accepted soon. Let me show you this. This is an ongoing tornado right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is there anything that catches your attention? I will suggest to you what catches my attention. That's when oh the ego God. and the human mind flee when faced with a life or death situation. Oh. Ego and education disappear. Oh. Then people naturally call oh out to God. God. That's because God's DNA in them rises. This oh is great God. for triggering DNA awakening. Have you ever heard of awakening? A gift that nature gives you. Not everyone deserves this gift. I hope you will be the one worthy of the gift within you. Normally no one wants to know about the existence of God. Because your ego and your teachings have tamed the DNA of God in you. This is exactly what you should contemplate in order to practice awakening. You don't wait for death or the sky to fall to ask for forgiveness. Heaven and earth now change day by day. The stars are getting brighter night after night. Don't wait for anyone to change with you. You need to actively remove your ego and the things you have been taught since childhood. Learning to work you need to watch it over and over again, so does the practice of awakening. DNA is not a rotten double helix as you see it. DNA is a supernatural technology that exists across many different levels of the universe. You know the DNA that made your body. But you don't know your DNA is a technology that exists across so many different universes. You can't imagine the cosmic's most advanced and capable DNA technology inside of you. Look at the results of the DNA that created your own body. Your body is a result of the DNA in the observable universe. Awakening is putting your mind in your DNA in the higher levels of the universe. Awakening is a natural process like planting a seed. Nature is the place for you to practice awakening. Nature gives you all without taking a dime. You need to connect with nature like a seed. It needs to be planted in the ground, it needs water, it needs air, it needs light. That's all. You should seek help by praying to the Creator, with both mind and heart. There is nothing better than asking for the help of the Creator who created you and all. Pray patiently until your prayer is accepted. Now I will suggest you to pray. First, you tell your body. Let your DNA understand the Creator is the only God. There is only one God that you worship and revere. The Creator created you and all. The Creator knows all. Darkness cannot be hidden. Satan and all his companions must also kneel before the Creator. You just need to teach your brain and your DNA to understand first, then you go outside. Look up at the sky where the sky is beautiful or the clouds are moving and then you pray. Because your DNA is a machine, you are the one learning to operate that machine. You need to get along with this machine. Your DNA machine is being infected by the malicious codes of evil species for many generations in this world. Your mission is to remove the evil code inside your DNA machine. Evil, cruel, lowly thinking, lustful, greedy, weak. Are manifestations of malicious code of lowly species that have infected your DNA. This is a test for everyone. There is a popular saying, everyone commits a crime. But no one is willing to change. God is grieving and is calling everyone to change. I am a witness to God. You have not opened your higher senses to see God, so God has used nature to show a warning to all people in all countries. The extraordinary events taking place in nature are proof of God. The Creator is the God of all kings. But the Creator does not abandon anyone who changes to return to the Creator. The Creator hears all the prayers from your heart. The temple is in your mind and heart. Please share with as many people as possible.